Did you know that worm castings increase yields by 25%, reduce pests and disease, and stimulate plant growth? It's one of my favorite soil amendments, and I'll show you why I won't garden without it. Worm castings are one of the richest natural fertilizers known to us. One tablespoon of worm castings can provide enough plant nutrition for a six inch pot for up to two months. Worm castings stimulate plant growth more than any other natural product on the market. And oftentimes it's higher in nutrition than just regular compost. Now I love my compost, but I definitely see the difference in yield when I use worm castings. Castings have an average NPK of nitrogen 0.5, phosphorus 0.5, and potassium 0.3 and that is just an average and it'll all depend on what the worms have been eating and digesting. They are also pH neutral. So that just means on the pH scale, they're right in the middle at a 7.0 and this won't alter your garden soil. They also have 11 essential minerals, which is excellent. Animal manures are great, but they can't be absorbed immediately by plants. Worm castings can. So you can see why it would be really beneficial to be adding some of the worm castings when you're doing your transplants. So just add one to three tablespoons per transplanting hole, put your plant in there, and you'll see the big difference. Give it a try. Plant some with and plant some without. You'll find that there's a huge difference. If you've ever wondered what worm castings are, you may also hear it called verma castings. Well, it's just worm poo. It's what worms eat, they digest, poop it out, it's black gold. Castings are excellent added to soil mixes for seedlings. The castings are pH balanced, which means they're not gonna burn your young seedlings. A really good mix is using 50% coconut core and 50% castings. It's really light and airy and it really helps with the seed development. Worm castings also are great added just to regular soil mixes for seedlings and you can use one quarter pound to one cubic foot of your soil mix. One of my favorite things about worm castings is they have the ability to inhibit root diseases like crown rot, root rot, and even the wilts. Worm castings have a natural growth hormone that protects the root system. Plus, they decrease some of those sap-sucking pests like aphids, mealybugs, and mites. They do this by increasing the microbial life in the soil. That microbial life stimulates root growth, which helps the plant uptake nutrients. So in the long run, you end up with a healthier plant. The less stressed plant, the less it is susceptible to pests and disease. When you have a plant that's stressed out, then you usually have attacks of pests and disease with those plants. And that's why I love worm poo. This powerful soil amendment does a really good job in helping the soil retain moisture, whether it's in ground, in your vegetable beds, or even in pots. It also does a great job in conditioning clay and salty soils. It just breaks up those particles and also makes it easier to drain. A little bit of worm castings go a long way, but you can use as much as you want without worrying about it burning because it is time released. So it'll last in your soil for months. And generally one application a year is plenty. And one half of an inch a layer worked into that top few inches will really get that microbial life moving. Worm castings are excellent when you use them with new raised beds, especially if you're using a soilless mix. This year we're adding some new raised beds and I'll be adding all kinds of different things in my soil mixture, but at the top, I definitely wanna be adding the worm castings to this because this will just amplify the good bacteria and the fungi within that soil. And that'll really help that first year get off and going and it'll make those plants so much healthier. If you already got your plants planted, or you got a plant that just needs some little stimulation, then you can just sprinkle two to three tablespoons around each base of the plant and work it in with a little cultivator. Just be careful when you're doing this not to disturb the root system. Worm tea is another version of worm castings. It's just a concentrated version that's in liquid form. It's a tea, and you can apply it right to the leaves of plants. The nice thing about this is you can apply it to your house plants because it has no odor. We're gonna be making worm tea in our next episode and show you how to do it. Raising worms at home is really easy, plus you benefit from having your own castings. It also saves you a lot of money, and it's a fun project for kids too. And when you raise your own worms, you get to have the fresh worm castings. And then when you release them into your garden, you have the little cocoons that are in there, which are just the worm eggs. So when you place those in your garden, the cocoons hatch, you have more worms, more worm poo, more worm aeration. And so this is a great benefit for your garden. 
I have several worm bins here to produce my castings. And this one here is one of the smaller ones and I've had it for at least 15 years. So it's had a lot of worm mileage put on it. And I love these because it makes it super easy to harvest the castings off of it. You can put several trays on these and build them up and up and up. I usually keep them pretty small because I'm always harvesting the castings off of it. But it's a great way to get rid of kitchen scraps. You just dump them in the top, the worms eat them, digest them, and they go down in the bottom and that's where you get your castings and you can harvest them off of that. One of the really neat things about these also is it's got a valve in the front where you can get what's called worm juice off of it. So you can drain off the excess liquid and you can dilute that and pour it onto your plants. And I love to do this in the greenhouse because I keep, a, keep my worm bins in that greenhouse and I'll just dilute it. I'll dump that liquid right into the citrus trees and man, they do great with that. Worms in the garden soil have the ability to remove toxic metals within that soil. So that just means you're going to have a higher microbial life and a healthier soil, then healthier plants and healthier veggies. If you're finding value in this, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. When buying packaged worm castings, they're generally aged at least six months and they generally have low moisture content to them. So the chances of having worm cocoons in these is pretty slim. It only takes two to three weeks for worm eggs to hatch, but you're gonna have all the other benefits of the worm castings and the microbial life within those worm castings as long as they weren't stored in the UV. Now you can see why worm castings are called black gold. Get some worm castings, improve your soil, and grow a garden of success. And I'll see you in our next episode. Wanna take that lid off? You wanna come help feed the worms? Come help feed the worms. I can take it off. What's that? What is that? Look at all that. Come here. It's worms. Come see the worms. You want to feed them? Yeah. Just dump that food right over the top. What kind of food is that? Uh, eggs. Eggs? The eggshells, tomatoes, <coughs> coffee grounds. Think they'll eat all that? They will, huh? And then what do they do? They make baby worms. They make baby worms? What else? Um, they, uh, poop. They poop! <laughs> yeah. And you just have to crunch these yeah, up. Yeah, we gotta crunch these up, huh? Okay. Should we put the lid on? Because they don't like the sun. They don't like light. They're trying to hide. You break that up, squeeze it. There you go. The smaller the pieces, the better. Put the lid on? Okay. That'll keep them safe, huh? Yeah. Okay. Because they don't like the sun. They don't like the sun. Yep. All right. Nightworm.